Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing a uh, Jin mid lane versus Zoe on the PBE because uh, there have been some itemization changes, so we're just gonna uh, showcase them. So playing Jin mid, I was maybe also gonna do Caitlyn mid, but the uh, itemization changes besides the mage ones, which we've already kind of talked about, where like Morello's now has magic pen. There's a lot of bruiser item changes where like a lot of stuff lost ability haste. For instance, this maw. It used to give ability haste, now it doesn't. Death Stance got a little bit of a nerf, doesn't give ability haste either. Um, but anyways, we're going to focus on the Marksman, which is Infinity Edge now only requires 40% crit chance for the crit strike damage, meaning you can build it as a second item and it works. And then also the Mortal Reminder now gives Armor Pen, so you can uh, get anti-heal while also giving yourself Armor Pen. Um, the main goal during Jin mid is landing Qs on them, you know, landing attack, uh, auto attacks as well. Depends on like how good the Zoe is as well, because we're playing on PB. We have no idea the rank of the opponent. They could be really good. They could be really bad. It It's up in the air because there's no way to know who you're versing. Uh, what's kind of funny is that the person that, the Kale on the other team is actually somebody who's been inside of a lot of my games and they because I normally ask my Discord. If you guys ever want to play with me when I do PB videos, I normally ask people to join so I get mid lane because I want to make it so I don't accidentally get auto-filled when I'm trying to make a video on something. So she's standing next to creeps. Sometimes we can go for a Q bounce right there. It didn't really work. They have a cane jungle. Cane jungle honestly really, really sucks at ganking. So we should be pretty okay. Fourth shot. We know that also she does not have bubble because she has W. Um, because that's why the balloons are here. So we know that we can step up aggressively without putting ourselves in danger of her possibly landing, um, asleep on me. So, ooh, that's a really good item for you. I'm just gonna Q her. Just a little bit of damage. We have two points inside of her Q so far. I'll pop a potion. I don't have cleanse in this matchup, so we have to be a little bit scared about that. Anyways, uh, what I tested inside a practice tool was the best second item for if you're gonna go the infinity edge second and i found out that the best possible thing wow really nice blitz hook i was able to thankfully chain it up with my w because he almost died if i wasn't able to land my w she definitely could have flashed away but really well played by him um mm, you're probably dead right you're not dead wow i'm surprised kane didn't flash for it i, I think kane just didn't even see how low he was he probably just blind w the brush and just ran away didn't think he would land on anybody but it did uh anyways what i tested was gale force and infinity edge and collector into infinity edge and collector into infinity edge deals a tiny 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 bit more but otherwise gale force infinity edge deals around the same amount and deals a ridiculous amount of damage um Compared to, like, Infinity Edge into... Or not Infinity Edge, sorry. Uh, Gale Force into Collector. So, you know, a standard Jin build is Gale Force. And then you just build a Collector because it gives you the lethality. That deals way less than just Gale Force into IE. That being said, I'm going to skip Gale Force anyways. I'm just going to go for the Collector. And I'll be collecting people for bonus gold into the Infinity Edge. Which will give you the most damage. But I won't get the Gale Force. Which is a huge deal. But, oh well. I mean, it's it's for a video. Why not? So, if you want to know the best build path for Jin uh, versus people who have around 70 armor, which is just a standard squishy player, uh, base armor is normally 70 around level 11. The best build path for Jin would be Gale Force Infinity Edge every single day of the week. It gives so much damage, so that's what I recommend. I'm gonna miss that. Oh my God, she's dead. All right, I guess my Blitzcrank is scripting because he is actually popping the hell off. It's good that he's helping me because my side lanes are losing pretty damn hard. So it's not ending up very good for them. I mean, bot lane CS-wise is doing pretty decent, though, as long as they don't die anymore. A fed Draven's really scary. 
The thing is, they're playing like auto attack based champions, so it might be a struggle. Is one auto nice? Fourth shot. I sh There's no way he kills me, so I mean, he can do a little bit of poke damage, but uh, Zoe also used the bubble onto uh, Blitzcrank, so I'm pretty damn safe here. She's gonna step up. I could just look to open up. I think I do deal enough damage at this point if I land every single bullet. Ooh. Damn, that was really close for the last one. I really didn't expect Kane to be around the corner at the perfect time, but that's okay. At least he's low now, and we'll just keep on getting fed from just like CS advantage plus plates, because plates do give quite a bit of gold. Right now, the biggest thing about Zoe is that she's playing super aggressive by walking straight up near me, and I'm just walking away. Like, with Zoe, you need to go for trades when I'm stepping up uh, like for creeps and then use it when I'm uh, channeling an auto attack. Otherwise, I'll just always walk away from Zoe and just not get hit by uh, the bubble. Of course, now that she's six, that's different. Why can't I not auto attack? Falling died. I mean, even if this lands, I'm like right next to her, so it's not going to deal enough. She's getting me chunked though, so there's a chance that a uh, like you know Kane could try to loop. He wouldn't be six by now. I think he would still be five. So that was a good one. Dang, I need one more auto, but unfortunately she cleared the entire wave. But that's okay because I have my collector now. That's what I really was staying for. That's why I didn't want a base, because even though we haven't bought recently, the thing is that I want to make it so my next base is on a really huge item. So I don't really mind, because from this point onwards, I need to now extend my lead to others to try to help them because of how poorly it's going. We need to desperately make it so like other lanes can have help. Really wish I had Gale for us now, because now it's going to be really difficult to, like, kill somebody like Kale. Because she'll just run away from me. I did hit him. No Blitz Crank Hook, sadly. Walk away from the minions that she's using her Q on. Just focus on a... She has no bubble now, so we can step aggressively. But we see bot lanes fighting, so that's where we're going to go. We don't care about mid lane. We only care about bot. Because... You want to try to help. That bounces to him. Mm. Killing this guy is going to be hard. It's going to take a lot of time. Also, Zoe might be rotating. I need Kane to go into my blitz. Nice. He did. Okay, so she was spamming W on me, which is why she was stuttering, because how Prowler's Claw is really weird. I think it's like bugged on Zoe, so like he's just spamming the hell out of it, which is why she gets stutter stepping, trying to use it. So I was just slowly walking back while auto attacking. Hey, we're getting a lot of gold from this collector, that's for sure. Now we need to buy a full Infinity Edge, and that's really damn expensive. 
It's as expensive as your Mythic, so this is honestly the cheapest way, because otherwise you have to spend 3400 instead of 3000 and uh, 3400 again if you go Gale Force into IE. So this is at least a good way of uh, buying something quickly while giving you a power spike. Hopefully we can grab like a dragon or something too. Uh, I'll show runes on screen right now if you guys are curious. It's just standard gen runes. I don't think it's very special. I know that you can like take other stuff as the last precision rune if you want to go like cut down or something, but I mean they don't really have tanky uh, players this game, so I don't think there's a real reason to do that. I could have went Merc Treads, I guess. That could have been pretty good. I know Maw is really good on Jin because the amount of AD that he gets makes it so um your magic damage shield is absolutely humongous. So that is also a thought. Could be going a maw. Because they have two fed AP champions. Well, not fed, like Zoe's not, but Kale definitely is. I'm just going to put some traps around mid. Let's just see the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Ooh. Mm. But now she's gonna pick up your flash, huh? I'll just flash on that guy. I had to sidestep, but now I'm probably dead. Oh, I stepped on the bubble. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Definitely kill me. There's way too many people mid lane here that I, I can't outplay. It's too hard when there's uh, that many players around. At least I could kill the Soraka. If they didn't have Soraka, maybe I could kill somebody else. But the Soraka was still healthy enough to probably use W a few more times for a teammate. So it would make it really damn difficult. But we're so close to IE. And then I'll have Ghost for next fight, too, which will help out. We just need to kill the Kale once. If we can kill her and get that 1,000 gold, it will heavily extend my lead, and then I could maybe play around it a bit easier, because right now it's pretty hard. It's a bit rough. Oh, he didn't even try to tongue him. Damn, that sucks. And you missed. Damn. Well, they were definitely gone. If Tom Kench tried to use his tongue and hit the slow, we probably could have uh, went for that, but it missed, so. Or he didn't attempt it, so we just got to go back mid. Bloodscrank might eventually find Zoe. shot. I mean, she's just dead now. I think that she has no way to uh, survive that. I think Kale, I mean, she's probably throwing me a bone, but also, I'm pretty sure she was going to ulti herself on the fourth shot and might have misplayed, possibly. If I did get a hit, if she did ulti herself when I did fourth shot, wouldn't have done no damage, and Kale uh, is really strong, so she might have been able to deal quite a bit of damage me possibly i don't know there's no way to tell if they did on purpose 
so next item will probably be a gale force it's just standard for Jin to go for this item so you can do gale force in the fourth shot because gale force executes but we're on the core spike now which is what the whole entire build was about just building ie second so now our crit damage is a lot uh when i was testing it versus a 70 armor target it was kind of like 290 crit with a uh, collector in gale force versus 360. So it's a significant amount of damage more. Um, oh, that's going to bounce. Jeez, that definitely isn't going to hurt. Does Kale have a Riftmaker? Nah. Kane's on Rift. We could probably contest, I guess. Kale's going to go over from this way, though. It's probably best to... My auto attack got canceled, for real. Yeah, I guess we probably shouldn't play around Blitz if it misses. It's AD Blitzcrank. Stepping up towards Zoe is way too hard. If I play aggressive versus her and I accidentally step on to bubble, it's just gonna chunk me way too hard, so. Nice. Bubble's coming, but it didn't kill. I landed that, by the way. I'm guessing Blitzcrank, uh, hook was down. I want to go bot. I dodged it. Doesn't really matter, though. I can't chase her down. It's too hard. If she appears over the wall, I can go for, like, an auto attack, though. Now I just need to land W. That bounces. Huh. I actually just cause completely lost track. Oh, not anymore. I needed to land the first one. I guess my opening up was just too slow. Although I did miss W as well. It was worth a shot, because if I can land the first bullet, it's way easier to land the rest of them. That's the thing about Jin Ultimate. Like, I played a lot of Jin autofilled, and I've noticed that if you miss the first one, normally it's like almost impossible to get the room for the rest. Fourth shot. Uh, my team's like all focused on one person, so... I'm not going to go for the Draven Soraka alone. I'm just going to back away. Because I'm aware that if I do go for those guys, I'll probably die. We need to play smart around uh, skirmishes like that, where we're not just putting ourselves in extreme danger. I mean, the Draven is super strong. The only reason why he doesn't have two items is because he built this Dirk. If he didn't build that Dirk, he probably would have Infinity Edge, just like me. But he'll have it pretty soon. Probably next base. Probably. Alright, we should definitely get one dragon just to stall because I still feel like this game is going to be hard until I reach like uh, four items. Then it's way easier to like outplay people. Just putting down some traps. If people step on them and I land W and my teammates are nearby, it can set up uh, hills. Where's Zoe? She just based. How much more do I need? 25 gold? I should probably just go buy IE now. Or not IE, uh, Guild Force. So now it's like just standard AD carry things because this is as if I'm on 3 core. The only thing that mattered was the early game spike. And you saw how much damage I was doing to the Draven. Even with only two items. It's just, you're critting for like 380 whenever you do crit. It hits so damn hard. And what's nice about Jin is that you have the fourth shot, which will always crit. So that's what I figured for Caitlyn, too. It's pretty nice. If she jumped towards me and I dodge bubble, I think I just kill. Although, I am going to be ganked by this cane.
If we have no uh, stuff on them, then we can't do anything. I guess I'm going to try going top, but honestly, I don't know how easy Jin can take on a Kale. Faltling's losing too. Okay, I'll come over here. You can totally go for her. Good thing I crit. Imagine if I didn't crit. I had to wait for the bubble to expire. I'm not going to run through that. I think the next item will be Gale Forest. I'll already deal enough damage to most of them. That should have landed. I messed that up. Oh my god, Singed is really just going in. I don't have my W, so... Well, at least he lives. He burned Ignite. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> That's okay with me. I'm not going to be dealing that much to Kane based off my build path because he is going to build armor, but that's okay. I'll deal damage all the squishies and I'll just be a bit tankier versus... Uh... They're fed players, except for the Draven. The Draven is the one that I will not be strong against. Yeah, see, this is based off of your bonus AD, so this is just going to give such a massive amount of shield once I finish Maw. Hex Drinker, it's not going to give me, like, anything because it only gives a flat amount. All right, he has Infinity Edge and Collector just like me, but he's a Draven. I have to reload. He doesn't have to reload. I'm level 15, though. I am level 15. Alright, Blitzcrank is gonna look, I guess. Mm. Oh, that doesn't kill. Oh, no, yeah, it does. There is a... Draven coming to me. Mm, even if you hit me with that, I think I don't die. You're dead. I know Zoe damage pretty well, so... If she doesn't have Ignite, there's just no chance that I'm going to die to a single bubble that's that close range. Oh my god, dude. That was a good try, I suppose. I'm just going to flash because that guy's going for me really hard. He really wants to kill me. I'm not going to go for that because you're going to kill me. Not bad. I have no idea where Kale is, if she's going to like flash on me from some angle. I finished my Maw, so I'll have the Maw shield. Draven use Flash, which is something that we'll be trying to remember for the future because he is honestly one of the most important targets now that I built this Maw, so the AP damage dealers aren't going to be as important. My team obviously should not be here because one of the biggest threats on the team is me, and without being with me, they aren't really much because it, they didn't even get shutdowns or anything, so they're really, really, really far behind. But that's okay. Hopefully we can defend the Baron because they might be on it. Nope, they're not on it yet. Good time to put down a little bit of traps. I really just want them to not do the Baron, so hopefully we can maybe try to take this dragon, I guess, because they reset. I don't really know. Oh, Kale's bot. But the thing is, if we go for Kale, they might Baron. Ah, uh, which is an issue. She has Death Cap now. I'm on a vision. They should definitely just run to Baron right now. I had to Gale Force to finish. That's why you need Gale Force. That fourth shot would have never killed her. The only reason why she died is because uh, I had to pop it afterwards when she was already low. Now we can go for the uh, enemy executed. 
Where? Oh, everybody DC'd but me. That's why she got executed. Yeah, there's bugs on the PBE. That's why uh, it's a test realm. So whenever Riot makes changes, they like increase, you know, they give Morello's magic pen and suddenly everybody crashes. So hopefully they come back, but they might be a... Uh... They might be permanently DC'd depending on how it is. Okay, no, everybody's actually back. Nice. I think we should just fight together right here around the Baron. Uh, there's no objectives bot side. Bot side is pushed for us. Uh, they will, people will want to get vision around the Baron. So somebody will come in and we can look for them. And if we kill them together, that's how we win the game. That didn't hit her? Wow, dang, my bad. Everybody should just immediately come over here. Just start it, and it's okay. I mean, we might get outsmited, but I really don't care. I just want to start a 4v5. The reason for doing the Baron isn't necessarily to do the Baron, but to create a numbers advantage fight for our team. That's it. Because Kale still bought, she's not TPing in, Kane is taking too long to rotate, so we just got it. And then now... That enables huge stuff for us because now it's going to be harder for Kale to do anything bot side because we have Baron reset, so then it's harder for her to do things for split push and we're setting us ourselves up to make it so it's just harder for them to use their advantages against us. And Baron's off the map. That's sick. There might be a Zoe like looking for a bubble across the wall. If I get hit by a bubble, the threat is Draven being nearby and killing me while I'm asleep. Zoe can't kill me because this shield is... This... <laughs> Did they buff the shield? The shield is 1,000 magic... 1,244 magic damage. Oh my god. I... That's not even 700. I thought it was going to be like 700, but no. It's, it's thousands. Holy crap. Oh my god. My teammate's kind of dying. She ultied herself. I'm gonna Gale Force that because otherwise I'll die. The Sorok is owning everybody. The shield saves me. But there's not much we can do. We needed Singe with us. I mean, it was a bit of over an extension. I made sure that I never got hit by the cane because otherwise we die. Killing the Kale is impossible. She just ultis herself. Now she's... Now she can't die. I mean, simple. Uh, and then I just don't deal enough. We will just have to hopefully get a pick, I guess. At this point, that's how we're going to win. Oh, she used her flash. I think that was her real flash, too. Okay. Um, I don't have Maw Shield for 30. I don't have 80% crit chance. Nice wards down to try to make it so we can walk in for vision control on this, even though we don't have our jungler up. That person's just going to run away because he's Kane, and Kane is pretty uncatchable unless we land something. That person is just gone. We should just go back to the dragon and see if we can maybe just do it. Hmm. It might get stolen. No, no, no. We got it. I did not land that, so he's not snared. We have to be careful about... Kale respawning if we uh, take a fight over here. Anyways, I have my item though, so I'm just going to base. We have this, so I'll deal more damage to this Kane who is basically uh, invincible for the time being just because he has a lot of armor. Am 
and we'll just buy another red pot. So our shield is now 1,300. I have 800 AD, 80% crit chance. I don't have rapid fire, which kind of sucks because that really does uh, help versus being able to like auto attack Kale and things because their auto attack range is really damn long. But at least we finished this uh, Lord Dom's. I guess I could have went to anti-heal, huh? I actually should have went the new Mortal Reminder now that I think about it. I don't know why I built this, just out of habit. This is definitely a Mortal Reminder game for sure. You're dead. But nice hook. Seraphine's dead. Kale's coming behind. Not much that I can do about that. No, I wasn't able to kill. Well, I lived. Somehow. GG. We tried. Unfortunately, it was just too hard. The Blitzcrank build is probably not the best. Ten deaths on both. So, it was a good attempt, but that's what the new gin can do. So, hopefully you guys still enjoy the commentary of what I'm trying to do when I'm playing very far behind, like, teammate-wise, while still being fed myself, trying to uh, enable plays. But the thing is that uh, a huge concept in League of Legends is you can play perfect and still lose. So remember that it doesn't matter how well you play, it's a matter of consistency. If I play this well, like let's pretend if I was going to like be smurfing or something, and I'm playing ranked, and even if my teammates are underperforming, if I play this consistently every single game, you will win way more than you lose. Uh, because you're not always going to be handed like... Uh, Teammates that will always be underperforming, like, extremely hard. Sometimes you're going to be having teammates that actually carry you. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching once again. The two first numbers is 4-4, four, four, so I guess it was successful for Jin. Uh, I'll be streaming on Twitch.tv slash speaking if you guys want to watch me. And I will see you guys in the next commentary. Just out of curiosity, let's uh, see the... Um, I just want to see the gold chart. Did I make up for it? I did not make up for it. Yeah, we were like losing all game 6,000 behind at 14 minutes onwards. But we tried though. Anyways, thanks for watching once again, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Bye.